ArcGIS Explorer has been evolving very rapidly. Now we've adopted a rapid development cycle so that we can deliver new features quickly to meet user needs and requirements. One of the users that we worked with closely during this past release joins me here on stage today. It's my privilege now to introduce Jamie Garrison from the Arizona Department of Transportation. Jamie? Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. At the Arizona Department of Transportation, we wanted a GIS solution allowing anyone in the department to view information about our assets and highway infrastructure, and not just our GIS professionals. We're using ArcGIS Explorer because of its seamless integration with our existing resources, its versatility, and its ease of use. With Explorer, we can quickly and easily get information about our assets, such as our fuel depots located across the state. Explorer also makes it easy to integrate external data sources. For example, here I'm connected to a live IMS service from the Maricopa Association of Governments. We also have some of our own data items that we can connect to live. Here's a data layer of our traffic cameras located in the greater Phoenix area. And I'm going to zoom in here and give you a closer look. With Explorer, we can connect to our traffic cameras and now I have a live look at the traffic conditions in this area near the airport. Now, one of the key functions of the, of the department is building and maintaining the state freeway system. So at any given time, we have numerous construction projects going on around the state, such as this one in the greater Phoenix area. Aerial imagery helps us to track and monitor the progress of these projects. We do find that we need the we do need imagery more often than is readily available. So we'll go out and collect our own imagery, and we can use Explorer to track and monitor the progress of these multi-million dollar projects. And one of my favorite features of Explorer is the Resource Center. It's easily accessed right from the File menu. And here's the, the ArcGIS Explorer Resource Center, and our us users really love that you can quickly add a new base map here, or popular data items right into your map. We took this idea and created our own custom resource center. I'll show you that here. And now we can display news and information and get that out to our users rather quickly. So for example, if I needed to see the engineering diagrams of this bridge here, I could come to my resource center, click on this icon, Explorer zooms to the location of the bridge on my map, and now I have the engineering diagrams right at my disposal. Another great use for, ex um, I'm sorry. Uh, another great feature with Explorer is the fact that we can do GIS analysis right inside the application. Imagine that we had a in incident at this particular location involving a chemical spill. If I'm the incident manager, I could come to Explorer, send this location information to this, this model, input some parameters such as the chemical type give it a wind direction, spill size and time of day, and I'm going to run the model right here inside Explorer. So now what Explorer has returned to me is a containment area, and now my team could go out and begin mitigation on this event. So it really is feature rich. There's a lot of features. But we do have another set of users in our department, and these are the users that don't necessarily need all these features. What they need is something quick and easy to get information rapidly. The latest release of Explorer 480 introduced the quick content. And what this quick content is, is it's a web page that's embedded right into the application. So with the quick content now, if I'm sitting in my office in Phoenix and I needed to get information about this brush fire in the northern part of the state along Interstate 40, I can get it real quickly from here. Or if I needed information about this landslide northeast of Phoenix, Explorer gets me there really quickly. Thank you. Another great use for the quick content is to distribute data uh, about current projects. So let me show you one of our projects that we have here. This is a project on State Route 260. And the goal of this project was to reduce 
vehicular collisions with wildlife. Now, we had built several wildlife underpasses in this area, but as you can see from this analysis, we were still seeing a significant amount of crashes in the area. Now, the Arizona Game and Fish Department used telemetry from GPS collared elk to monitor and determine where the, the locations of the elk were still crossing the roadway. And that's indicated by these high red columns here. The team working on this project was then able to take that analysis and determine where to put, place fencing so then the wildlife could be funneled into these underpass areas. So let me show you what the results of that project show. And the results show a much safer environment for both the wildlife and the traveling public. That's just a sampling of how we're using ArcGIS Explorer at the Arizona Department of Transportation. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity to come here today and share that with you. Let's send it back to them. Thank you, Jamie. A wonderful presentation. Now, Jamie has highlighted some of the new features in Explorer 480, and I'm going to highlight a few more. And one of the areas of focus was on presentation. And this is ArcGIS Explorer running inside of a browser. I can configure it so that it fills the entire browser, or I can display it in just a part of the web page like I'm doing here. It's the same ArcGIS Explorer that you run on your desktop with the same capabilities. Here's another new feature. This is a latitude, longitude graticule. And we also support reference grids. We support the military grid reference system as well as the US national grid. Another area of focus has been on content and data integration. This is a GORSS feed from the USGS showing all magnitude two and a half or greater earthquake events that have occurred throughout the world during the past week. Because it's a GORSS feed, I'm always getting the latest information and looking at the most recent information here in the pop-up window. Another thing that we added was support for enterprise geodatabases, or data that's stored using ARC SDE. Here I've zoomed into the Redlands parcel database, and we now support map tips. So as I hover over a feature, I've chosen the owner name to display. When I click on one of these features, I've chosen just a few of the attributes to show, including the assessor parcel number and a link. This link takes the assessor parcel number and takes me out to the San Bernardino County Parcel Information Management System. So this is really interesting. It's a mashup like Jack talked about earlier, but it's not a map-on-map -map mashup, but rather a mashup from a feature in ArcGIS Explorer to an online information system. We've also focused on collaboration. You can now email directly from ArcGIS Explorer. I can email a result, a layer, or the entire map like I've done here. The text and the attachment are generated on the fly, making it easier than ever before to share and collaborate. We've also added several new tasks. One of them is called Add Photo. With this task, I can browse to a folder, and it will search for any geotagged images. Now, geotagged images are images that have the XY location of where they were captured embedded directly in the image header. This task reads that information from the header, places the image appropriately on our map, and when I click the result, it displays the image itself in the pop-up. Another task is this task called Find Telephone. Here I've entered the telephone number for the Grand Hyatt, which is located just a short distance from where we are right now. Now, these are tasks that we have created, but you can create your own. You can do that using the Explorer Development Kit. I'm going to take this phone location, and I'm going to send it as an input to a custom task. This custom task allows me to find or checks to see if there is a Google Maps Street View available at this location. And it will display the Street View in the pop-up window. So here we are. We're looking downtown towards the Convention Center. And there's the Grand Hyatt uh, itself just above us. Here's another task. This does a similar thing, but this time with the virtual Earth bird's eye view. I click on my map. And now the pop-up window will show the bird's eye view for the same area. 
So some very interesting things that you can do with ArcGIS Explorer.